What's up guys, today we'll be reviewing the Solaire 14mm from Yola. This has been a paddle that has attracted quite a bit of attention because it's essentially a thinner and wider version of the flagship Ben Johns Hyperion CFS. So after testing, how did it hold up? Before we get into it, thanks to Just Paddles for sending this over for me to make this review. If you guys are looking to pick up a new paddle, they have a very wide selection of paddles and accessories, and I'll have an affiliate link in the description that helps support the channel if you purchase something. The Solaire is priced at $189.95 and is a 14mm polymer core paddle with a 5.5 inch handle length and 4 and 1 8 inch grip circumference. The weight of mine is 8.4 ounces and feels just a little bit more balanced than the Hyperion CFS. The Hyperion is definitely a head heavy paddle and the weight on this one feels shifted down slightly. This is using Yola's carbon friction surface, which is a carbon fiber surface similar to Electrum and Carbon. Like I mentioned before, this paddle is essentially a Ben Johns Hyperion, so that means this has two of the new features that they added to that paddle, which are the Hyperfoam edge wall and the carbon forged handle. The Hyperfoam edge wall helps with the sweet spot and stability, while the handle is literally carbon fiber, which helps reinforce it and prevent it from breaking, and also adds some flex near the handle, which can produce more power for the paddle. So one thing I want to note is that when you hold this paddle up, it actually looks ridiculously wide and you kind of go like, holy cow, this is a fat paddle. But when you hold it up against an elongated paddle, the size actually isn't that different and you really aren't losing that much face. So it's kind of just this weird illusion where when you hold it up, you're like, wow, I'm really losing a lot of reach. But in reality, it really doesn't look like you're missing that much. For spin, I got 1420 RPM, which is a pretty solid result. Compared to the Hyperion CFS, this is about 160 RPM short. I don't actually think the spin potential is that different between these two. It probably comes down to the head shape and thickness difference between the two. Weight and balance also affect spin from player to player. So while this result is lower, just be aware that you may be slightly better or worse with either of them, and the difference will just come down to personal preference. I never felt like spin was a problem when using this paddle for any of my shots. Also, some people People online have been wondering what the difference is between Yola's CFS and CGS face paddles, and I got to talk to someone from Yola and he told me they are almost identical surfaces, but because of how the Hyperfoam edge wall bonds with the paddle, it does change the surface slightly, which should allow for more spin than the CGS surface. But generally speaking, they are essentially the same thing. From my test so far, the CGS holds up very similarly against the CFS, so I wouldn't be too worried about losing out on spin if you choose a paddle that isn't using CFS. I wouldn't classify this as a power paddle, but it does have just a bit more pop than the Hyperion CFS due to being 2mm thinner. While I do believe this has good power, I think that you have even more power to smash that like button down below. <laughs> You see what I did there? I think if you compare it to paddles like the 002 Head Radical Tour Co or the Riley Newman 206, this feels much softer. But that's kind of just the nature of these raw carbon fiber surfaces. They can have decent hitting power, but if you put them on a scale against true power paddles, they generally feel much softer. Whether it was drives, overheads, counter punches, I felt like I had enough power on those shots, but the power really just doesn't compare to the other paddles I mentioned. Because this paddle is 2mm thinner, I did feel like I sacrificed some control, but not enough to be an issue. I found that after a day or two, it was a pretty easy adjustment to make coming from the 16mm Hyperion CFS. Initially, dinks and drops were sitting a little higher than I would like, but after some adjustments, it felt very easy to place my shots where I wanted to. I really feel like this paddle found a great balance between control and power. I played quite a bit of singles with it, and these days I'm really looking to use a paddle that can help me generate some extra pace, and I felt like this did that very well without sacrificing my ability to place the ball where I wanted. I would describe the feel of this paddle very similar to the Hyperion. It has a nice plush and cushioned feel when the ball hits the sweet spot like the Hyperion does, but due to it being 2mm thinner, I think it just feels a little bit more crisp as the ball comes off instead of being entirely plushy. I really like when paddles have this plush feel, so I'm a big fan of how it feels. So the Hyperion CFS is very heavy and a lot of that weight is in the head. The Solaire, despite being thinner, is still nearly the same weight, but it does feel like the weight is shifted a little closer to the handle, which makes maneuvering the paddle feel just a little bit easier. 
I still wouldn't call this a headlight paddle, but it did feel a little bit easier to move around than my Hyperion. If you are primarily concerned with a paddle that is light and fast at the net, you might want to check out the Vision line from Yola, since that is basically a Ben Johns without the carbon forged handle and the Hyper Edge foam in the wall, which reduces the weight significantly. I thought that the sweet spot felt great on this paddle. There were no points where it felt small or hard to hit. That tends to be how it goes with wide body paddles though. The Hyper Foam Edge Wall also does seem to work quite well. Like I mentioned in my Ben John's first impressions, it seems like instead of like just increasing the sweet spot and making it a lot larger, it's like the drop off gets like a softer roll off as it gets to the edges. Instead of being like this harsh drop off from center to the edge, it kind of feels like it smooths out. So even when you clip the edge, it doesn't feel like the ball completely dies. You can't do anything with it like on some paddles. The only thing I initially struggled with was coming to a wide body paddle after only using elongated faces. Even though it really isn't that much shorter in length, the first few days I found myself clipping the top of the paddle quite a bit, so there was a small adjustment to get myself hitting more towards the center of the paddle rather than slightly higher up on an elongated paddle. On the first batch of Yola paddles, I was seeing quite a few complaints about edge guards coming loose, and I'm happy to say that that hasn't been the case on my Solaire. I got this a bit later in the production cycle, and mine has held up great. Overall, the paddle feels built well for a polymer paddle. I really enjoyed my time playing with the Solaire. I honestly wasn't sure how I would feel about it because of it being so wide, but I did eventually adapt and liked it quite a bit. They took all the elements that make the Hyperion CFS great and then packed it in a thinner and wider package and dropped the price by $30, which pretty much puts it right in line with all of the other raw carbon-faced paddles. I think where I really didn't expect to enjoy it was for singles, but after playing a number of matches, I was presently surprised how balanced it felt. I could swing hard but still keep the ball deep and inside the court, but when I needed to play cat and mouse at the net, I felt like I could switch over to control without noticeable drawbacks. I would call this paddle an all-arounder. It doesn't specifically excel in control or power, but it does a combination of both quite well. I think if you like the wider body paddles and wanted a great raw carbon fiber surface, then this really is a great paddle to check out. I don't believe I'll be switching to it, but that's mostly because I just prefer elongated faces. But I think this is very competitive with the top paddles on the market right now. So there you guys go. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to click like and subscribe down below, and I will catch you guys in the next video.